In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the spark plugs on this Ford F-150. We're working with a 5.4 liter V8, but don't worry, these ones won't break and they won't strip out. That's a previous generation issue. If you need this or any other part, check us out at oneayota.com. I'm only going to show you how to replace one spark plug because the process for all the other ones is the same and they're all easy to get to. So let's get started. Let's unplug the ignition coil, press on the locking tab over here, pull the connector up, and then the ignition coil has a little seven millimeter bolt right there. Take a socket with a long extension and remove it. It's very small, try not to drop it anywhere. Set it aside safely. And now you should be able to take the ignition coil, pull it straight up. There's a lot of debris here. I'm going to use a vacuum cleaner and vacuum all this up. If you have compressed air and you'd rather blow it out, go ahead and use a blow nozzle and get rid of all that debris. Now use a 14 millimeter socket or a 9 16 spark plug socket. Drop it down there, make sure it grabs onto that plug. Let's break it free. These are a little bit tight sometimes. Because I'm not actually using a spark plug socket, I'm going to have to use a magnet to extract this. So I'm gonna pull my socket out, stick a magnet down here, and there's the spark plug, and there you have it. Here's the new spark plug. I have it on a magnet because unfortunately I don't have a spark plug socket that grips onto this. Hopefully you do, but if you don't have one, use a magnet. You don't wanna just drop it down into the spark plug's hole because it can hit the electrode at the bottom and damage it. And one other thing I like to mention is you don't have to apply anything to the threads, no grease or ANCs or any of that. These are already coated and they should go in dry. Gently slide it down. Try to give it a couple turns to maybe catch those threads on. Put the socket down in there, and let's start the spark plug onto its threads. We'll bottom it out by hand, and then we'll torque it. You don't want to use any sort of power tools for this. The impacts of a power tool can actually crack the ceramic and damage it. That's bottomed out. 13 foot-pounds is the torque for this. That's all it takes. If you don't have a torque wrench, that's just about an eighth of a turn after this has bottomed out completely. Take your ignition coil. I like to apply a little bit of silicone paste on the end of it. Slide the ignition coil down. Make sure it's facing the right way. Press it onto that spark plug. Line it up with the bolt hole. I'm gonna connect the electrical connector while I'm at it. And now we can put this bolt down. Start it into the threads here. Make sure it threads in smoothly. Bottom it out. That's bottomed out right there. Give it another eighth of a turn at most. Just make it nice and snug, and there you have it. At this point, you do the same exact procedure to the rest of the cylinders. So there you have it. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, don't forget to leave a like, and if you have anything to say, leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you can stay up to date with all of our future content. Thanks for watching.